Adverse childhood experiences, called ACEs, are stressful or traumatic experiences that occur in childhood, like violence, abuse, and growing up in a family with substance use or mental health problems. When a caring adult or supportive environment doesn't soften those adverse experiences, or when they are ongoing or overwhelming, they can lead to a prolonged activation of our stress response called toxic stress. Think of toxic stress like this. Our bodies were designed to escape predators quickly. Imagine you're walking through the woods and you see a bear. Your brain signals your body to release stress hormones like adrenaline and cortisol. Your heart begins to pound and your body prepares you to either fight or run from the bear. And that's useful if you're in the forest and there's a bear. The problem is when children face threats to their physical and emotional safety. And this system is activated over and over and over again. What was meant to protect you begins to do the opposite and becomes damaging to your health, creating long-lasting wear on your body and brain. Children are especially vulnerable to the effects of ACEs and toxic stress because their brains and bodies are still developing. The toxic stress from ACEs and other adversities such as poverty, racism, discrimination, and natural disasters can disrupt the normal functioning of vital bodily systems. Simply put, toxic stress can result in long-term mental and physical health conditions. Not only that, but the effects of ACEs can be passed from parent to child for generations through the biological changes and behaviors associated with ACEs and toxic stress. A person with four or more ACEs is twice as likely to suffer from heart disease, cancer, and stroke, four times as likely to develop depression, and 12 times as likely to attempt suicide. The good news is that safe, stable relationships and environments and other interventions such as physical and mental health support can reduce the risk of ACEs leading to toxic stress and stress-related health conditions. To learn more, visit www.osg.ca.gov.